Let me show you another thing. Everybody look. With this same knife, I can actually do a little garnishing like this. One, two, okay, three. And I want to show you, if this one is very easy to sharpen. All you have to do is use a steel to keep it home. This is the knife that I used on the Yanking Cook Show. It's made in Solingen, Germany, where they make all the fine Hanko Wusthof cutleries. You see this? This is something everybody can learn how to do. This is a garnish. And all it takes is a sharp knife. You can do all kinds of things. Look. Okay? You can continue to do until you get to about this high. And then you do this and this and you can make a swan. Okay? But since you don't show enough enthusiasm, I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, I want to show you another thing. This is also interesting. You see this? One, this requires tremendous control of your knife in terms of, that means you have to have a sharp knife. You have to have every single cut very, very thin. Very, very thin. Okay. Okay. Who is the director? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Talking to your dad? Or your girlfriend? Okay, now look at this. You see this? I'm going to hold on to this. I want to show you how interesting this is. I cut this into very, very thin slices, and now I can pick this up. <laughs> now, now, for all the audience, you are the most excitable. This is yours. <laughs> okay? Now, if you continue to maintain such enthusiasm, I'll give you my jacket, my knife, my socks, and my shoes. Okay. Everybody look. How do you remove the seed from the bell pepper? Everybody pay attention, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Three, two, one. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. The whole thing comes out, the whole thing comes out like this. Done. Oh, look at that. And then you go one, two, three, four. This is how you save time. And then you transfer food. You see, all the food is right here, and you transfer food, and you go, hey, like that, nice and clean. Okay, once again, slow motion. Hold on to it like this. You Seesaw your knife while you're rotating this. You see, this is slow motion, slow motion. You see this? One, two, three, four, five. And then once again, you transform, you go pick, like that. And then of course, the next thing I want to show you is how to cut an onion without ever getting emotionally involved. <laughs> Now, the trick I do is, first, you stay away from onion. Never, never cut onion like that. <laughs> and then you go downward, forward, downward, forward, downward. And when you cut to a pawn, you see, this is actually very thin. Look at this. Thin slices like this. Okay? Now, once you get to this pawn, it's very hard to hold on to. You know what you can do? You push it, push it down like this. And then you continue to do it. This is how you do it. You see? And then you transfer this and you put it right over here because we need the square for that. And then I want to show you this, how to cut into perfect squares. See, you stop, you cut, you stop, you cut, you stop. When you cut it like that, when you open it up, every single piece about the same size, you put it right here. You see? So you have everything cut up. Now, how about celery? Normally when you cut, you cut it like this. When you cut it like this, it looks like this. Not much imagination, and there's no design. But most Chinese chefs, they cut an angle like this. When they cut it like this, it's a lot more interesting than this, 
Okay? No imagination. With some imagination. But it's not enough imagination. Let me show you something full of imagination. Look at that. I cut an angle. Look at the difference between this and this and this. Same thickness. Isn't it interesting? You can design your own vegetable. <laughs> you know, this is exterior and interior design. Okay. Now, another thing I want to show everybody is how to cut enough slices out of one mushroom to feed 45 people. <laughs> now, look at this mushroom. It's very small, okay? It's not that big. This is even smaller. And I want to show you, you can cut this into 25 slices with this knife. Hope! I want to show everybody how ridiculously thin this is, and I don't know about you, this is unbelievable. <laughs> All of these are unbelievable. It's so unbelievable, I am totally shocked. <laughs> now, I want you to, 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 to look at this. <laughs> are you impressed? <laughs> It's so impressive, speechless. <laughs> okay. Now, when you have something so small, it's hard to hold on to. But yet, all you have to do is use the sim simple basic skill. Always remember, downward forward, 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 downward, downward forward, downward forward. And then you continue to do it, and then you transfer foot like that. Very simple. Now. Here is another mushroom. I cut this in half, and I go one. I cut an angle. I cut an angle, and also square. I put it right here. Now, I have all the vegetables all cut up. Look at that. Can you see that? All different color, all cut up. Let us zoom in close up. Wow, look at that. Okay. <laughs>